welcome back to Everyday Struggle on Complex News. I'm Nadeska here with DJ Academics. Yeah, I'm Bueno. What's going on? I don't even know what we could do. It's, it's yeah, too far, man. man. Come on in. All right. All right. All right. I gotta lean right. over. Let's go. What are we doing? Spirit fingers. What okay. are we doing? Spirit fingers. <laughs> I don't know what? what's going on, man. Today's Thursday. It's been a week for me. Yo. I realize, Ak, we haven't talked about your rap career yet, which is yeah. a little bit absurd. You certainly are acting like a rapper, pulling up late, looking Wearing like you fresh out the shit. studio. I on a whole ninja suit. That's good snitching already. Like, <laughs> I'm just here? trying to be honest with the people. Hey, no, no, no. First of all, y'all ain't going to do me like that. We will have a whole topic. You know what I mean? Whole topic. Right. I'm not ready for that today. We need so. sales projections. But uh, just know, um, listen, I don't want, if I could compare myself to someone, Weird Al Yankovic, you know what I mean? I think there's a lane in rap that okay. needs to be uh, fulfilled. Okay. okay. And also, I got bars, man. I got fucking you? bars. I got some bars. You don't have man. no bars. Do I got act? some quotables. I don't believe that. I you got, got quotables. quotables. Who wrote What's one? Give me one, one, one quotable right now. Listen, I can't ride the wave when I'm the one that make it. That's a quotable. <laughs> That's something you could put on Twitter. I learned from the best. Listen, if your bars ain't good for Twitter on some, the the best bars is when you could drop some shit in a song and then people tweet it because they're they're like really dissing someone or they're talking about some vague ambiguous stuff. Trust me. Like your bars ain't ending up as captions on people's. Uh, eyes. Yes, it is. Man, I don't know. I might do follow it one time. You're my boy, but I don't know. Uh, yo, I don't know about this shit. Yo, also you better sell more than 200k or don't pull up again. Don't pull up. 200k. Who's yeah. over 200k? You should. I need 80 the first week. That's <laughs> what I need. I told you, my life goal is just to outsell Vic Mensa. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry. On that note. You me? <laughs> right. All right, let's get into the show. So we know this new Pusha T album, Daytona, is dropping tomorrow, finally. And he had a listening session in New York last night. Wayno actually got to go, so he's going to tell us a little bit more. I did. But of course, one of the snippets that surfaced is from a song called Infrared, where he may be taking shots at Drake. Let's listen. Is that some speed over there? That yeah, it was like some men in black. No, I'm in black. Uh, uh, I forgot. I'm sure. <laughs> so there's also a Birdman reference on the track. But before all of that, I just want to talk about the album in general. Yeah. Uh, what were your first impressions? My it? first impressions is to say this, to go on record by saying, until further notice, nobody can't fuck with Pusha T, hey. rapping wise. I don't care about your first week sales, none of that shit. Bar for bar, right now, he got it. I'm saying that based on this album. How much do say did you uh, ingest while you were at the business? I got, I got, it. I got to make, act. no, no, no. I just got to make sure you use a sound mind because if we're hearing it right, seven songs. Yeah, I, I'm relying on you, Wayno. Yeah, the seven we're songs relying is hard. On you. Seven songs is hard, but I'm just talking about him bar for bar lyrically right now. I haven't heard anybody bring this type of shit in a minute as far as lyrics, as far as like lyrical ability metaphors, double entendres, all of that shit, he got it right now. And until somebody puts out a body of work that challenges that rap-wise, nobody's fucking with him. Uh, how much has it changed from what we usually get from him? I mean, I feel like it's what we expect as far as the content, but his delivery has changed up a bit as far as like his skill. Like I, I think he put a lot of skill into this shit. So it's like even with the seven songs, I don't know. But it sounds like they crunched that shit down to get those type, like the type of bars he's given. Mm. Sound like they really crunched it down from the shit that we used to. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm fucking with it. Daytona's fire. We're gonna hear the full thing. All right. So the, the Birdman reference, we pulled it up. I hate trying to read rap lyrics. Wayno, yeah. can you do the honor? Okay. Uh. Right here. Now it's okay to kill baby. Niggas looking at me crazy like I killed a baby. Salute Ross because the message was pure. He see what I see when I see Wayne on tour. Oh shit, he got that New York delivery. It sound like Pat Pope's on hey, set. Man, I, I was rapping in like in, in high school. I was trying, man. I wasn't. I wasn't confident enough or good enough. So you know I mean? they do say everybody. They, they usually say everybody who gets the music is a failed rapper at some point. I wouldn't call myself a failed rapper because I never gave myself a real shot. But yes, in Harlem, everybody was rapping at one point or another. Yeah. And when I would write my shit, and then I go around Murder Mook or T Rex or Smoke Dizzy in them, and they would be in the cipher, I'd be like, Nah, I'm gonna oh, just keep this shit to myself. Oh, that's not even fair though. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is when we teenagers. I'm like, Let me keep this shit to myself. Well, act's living out it. all your big rap dreams. So Absolutely, okay. do it for me, act. Fuck out. You will write you look at this guy. Yeah, <laughs> write me some bars, man. Nah, I can't do all of that. Write me some bars. You trying to be quitting? I get you. I get you some endorsement deals, but I can't write you no bars. That that part of my career is over. 
You don't got quotables. That's the problem. <laughs> hey, uh, this, by the way, just from this snippet, and, and I heard the song. The, the song, the song sound hard actually, right? Um, this beef with Push and Drake. This is I'm so over it, man. I'm so over it. First of all, it's too slow. You know what I mean? Like I don't want shit to be like. Five it's like I don't know if y'all watch How to Get Away with Murder, man. It's like as soon as you get to the good part. It's like a mid-season break for like yeah. 10 months. Like, right. what are we doing? <laughs> like, what are we doing? So I'm like completely over that. But I will say because the bigger uh, point to me is that he addresses Wayne. Mm. And he's been right about Wayne. And when, when he said it about Wayne, I think everybody kind of knew it was right. We just didn't know right. because those lines stung. Mm. And what played out after those lines w w were spat is basically exactly what he said to probably the extreme where Wayne looks crazy. And, and I mean, I don't even know if Wayne, I don't even know if Wayne uh, feels differently about um, Pusher now yeah. because we, we know like he's going through his situations. But I have to say Pusher was right. A nigga sounds like he was a prophet. I mean, it was like, what was, Exodus was 2012, I think. Exodus, that was the first drink when he went at, yeah. yeah, when he had that whole, whole spat. So I, I get what you're saying. It has been a long time, but there's always going. It's always fun to throw a jab here and there. You know what I mean? It's always fun to throw a jab. But I mean, like I said, this is this is a very small part of that Daytona album. Word. You know what I mean? Um, it's cool for sport, but overall, listen to that fucking album, yo. Yeah. Shit is really good for seven songs. You know, he said last night he was like, you know, everybody. It's like good music doesn't run with the trends. Everybody's doing 18 songs. We doing seven. Everybody I love 25 it. 25 songs. Right. <laughs> 35. But, I mean, still, I don't know. I, I'm still that person. I can't wait when an album drop, especially when an artist has been known to diss or respond. I feel like most artists, the good ones, mm -hmm. the ones who, who their lyricism could handle everything else, yeah. they don't need to go to an interview to talk about somebody. They, they always handle it yeah. in yeah. their music. So... Again, I was waiting for his response. Everybody, I would imagine, was waiting for a response to Two Birds, One Stone by Drake, yeah. right? Drake, Drake basically said, nigga, you rapping about the same brick. It was Noel Chop, all that. Uh, I thought he was going to come at Drake a little bit more aggressive, but I th he pretty much dismissed him by being like, man, your pen is non-existent. You're not writing, hey. right? And then the, the Wayne thing, he basically says, yo, everybody said I was tripping. Then when Ross says it now, when it's actually going on, he's a genius. What about what I did? That was hard. It was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. That was a hard line. Quentin ain't had no Nas bars though, man. <laughs> no, he's, he's running through the six of my woes? What oh, the fuck? it was written as Nas' second album. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. But what, what, what I mean is like... He's saying Quentin doesn't have Nas Yeah, yeah compared to... No, one thing so... I will say is Quentin had hot lines that yeah, Drake made in the hot song. Yo, he like, had Instagram caption lines, Ack. You need those. Running through, my, running through the six of my woes, that song, like that line turned into a hell of a song. Like... Stop it. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and fucking lie and say it was No, no, no. I'm, I'm pulling a Wayno on this. You know, right. like when I try to make a loose comparison to Jay and Wayno's like, what? <laughs> Yo, I don't even want to hear your point. You compared him to Jay? Right. You know what I mean? Yo, I don't want to hear Quentin and Nas, even though it was a clever line. It was uh, written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. Great, 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 great. But I don't want to hear Quentin and Nas, okay? Oh, stop it. I don't it. hear Quentin. You make a lot of bullshit comparisons, so stop okay, it. Is that bullshit comparison? I think that's a little bit bullshit. No, it's it's called a metaphor, dog. I mean, come on. If I know little act is not into metaphors and you know Wait, what I mean? I use metaphors on a show, like little act be freestyling on this shit, you know what I mean? You just call him out. But uh I wanted him to, uh, I don't know, probably hit. It was, a cla it was classy. I'm going to keep it 100. It's, yeah. it's not a diss song, but it's classy the way he played it. He didn't go as hard as Ross did on his album, right. but he gave some shit on his thoughts, and he ended the album with that. Uh, when he was talking about Wayne and he said, like, how Wayne looks on tour, like, he kind of painted Wayne out to be like, yo, nigga Wayne probably can't retire because he has to tour to make money because he ain't made no money off the music and he sold a shit ton of, to, to the music. Also, he, he kind of is, uh, there's this continuing trend of really just not only black excellence, black empowerment, but um, just black business-minded people who want to take control in terms of record executives who, who, are, who look like the people from the culture. And, and he was talking about making making sure the people who fuck with him yeah. get all that they 
yeah. need to get from what they have actually uh, worked for. So, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a dope song. I'm excited to hear what else is on it. And and obviously, I know he ain't made an album to talk about niggas. Right. It's, 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 he did it classy, as you right, said, yeah. a couple lines. We'll see. We'll see how it is. And he got a song on there called "What Would Meek Do." And what would Meek do? Yeah, it's oh, called "What Would Meek Do." It's featuring Kanye. I the fuck new with Jesus. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he said that he wanted Meek on the record, and he yeah. spoke to Meek when Meek came home, but he didn't want to ask him to get on the record, so he, Kanye got on it. But it's mm -hmm. it's hard. All right, that's dope. So Daytona is out Friday, so we'll talk yeah. about this on Monday. I'm excited to hear the full thing. Uh, one more question. So is that record from like Meek's point of view? No, or? it's like he's talking on some like, like uh, I, he's saying shit like about the judge, like throw a middle finger at Papa Willie. Like he's throwing a lot of yeah. shit in there. Like what would Meek do as far as his attitude towards shit? Okay. Yeah. Meek pre jail or Meek now? <laughs> That's two different people, man. All right, I can. Uh, <laughs> right. Nah, right. Unless you recorded this last week, I feel like it's pre jail. Um, oh, okay. okay. So <laughs> let's right. talk about uh, okay. Takashi. I'm not a suburban Meek, okay? <laughs> Come on, Ak, I'm trying to give some really positive news here to the community. Right. Uh, Takashi Six Nine and Casanova have officially ended their beef. So these two have had issues for a while now. They even had a run-in at the Barclays Center last month, but apparently it's all good. So they caught up at a club in Brooklyn and shared this footage. Trayway shit, man. Look who I run into outside of us, man. You already know that. Ain't, we outside. You know ain't to the Billy, man. You already know that shit. Trayway shit, man. We outside. There was never no beef, man. Just a misunderstanding, man. We uh, here, we strong. We, we outside. Strong, and we on top, man. You leave us alone. And song coming soon, man. Well, leave, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Trayway shit, man. No police contact. We good. Okay. All right. So apparently it was just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Someone to give us the backstory? Well, I'll say, you know, starting off like. Takashi's a friend of yours, right? Yeah. You consider Casanova's a friend of mine. Oh, you guys? Yeah. So, um, what I will first off say, I don't, I don't know about the backstory and all of that. It's a lot of like Takashi has his version, Cass mm -hmm. has his version. What I will say is that um, for me to know Cass the way I know him, and his crew and how they are, this is very mature of him. This is very mature of him because honestly, it just don't, it doesn't make sense to keep going on with this shit. Jay-Z said in a rhyme one time, mobsters opt to not get in beef. There's no business in it. It only brings police. That's exactly what he said. No police contact. We're good. Um, I'm not looking for them to make a mixtape or no songs or none of that <laughs> shit. I'm not looking for none of that. But it's, people thought this shit was going to go really, really bad. Really, really bad based on who Casanova is in the streets, Takashi and the people he has around him. So... <laughs> Salute to them first and foremost for stopping some shit before it could go to another level or where it was headed. Right. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Salute to the people who are mutual parties between both of them. Right. I don't think both of them. You know, the new thing nowadays is that you beefing with someone, y'all get on FaceTime beefing. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think their shit looked like it was much different. Right. right? And I, I think the people, whoever is the mutual party between them, probably reach out to both of them, and they probably both themselves acknowledge, yo, we're looking kind of stupid out here. Not only are we looking stupid, right? We're about to get, if not ourselves, but our cruising situation fucked up, money fucked up. Right. And when you getting banned from Barclays, you have police now looking into certain things. We, we saw certain stuff that we never even knew. Like, they were doing TMZ work for us, right? right? Hey, right. We, there's a shooting, and then TMZ runs it later. Oh, yeah, there was a shooting. Okay, we think it's trolling. And, and then um, we heard even Casanova talking about some, some of his people who might have got jammed up. So when police is looking at you that heavily, I mean, sometimes you got to be like, you know what? Let's squash this shit. We ain't even beefing over nothing. That's yeah, the crazy thing. They're not, not even beefing, beefing over nothing. Shit. Like, right? Yeah. So let's just smile. We ain't got to be like the best of friends, but we should let everybody know, especially the cops, where you can't use either party to try to get the other out of here because I, I, honestly that's a lot of that's a lot of what the police try to do. You yeah. get me? Men like what's crazy about this is like men, specifically men in the street, with this technology, this shit creates so many communication barriers, right? And I feel like the reason why un, totally unrelated to just them, just period in the rap game we see today I got a problem with you, you got a problem with me. I'm screaming at my phone, putting up a caption and uploading the shit. Mm -hmm. And it's good to see them get together. And I see, prior to the video, I'm pretty sure, well, I spoke to Kaz. They had a conversation 
right there before they got on any video and did any of that shit. So this is what needs to happen a little bit more. I think the biggest problem is a lot of men are scared of confrontation. Seriously. Really? Like, yeah, in, in, in music, because all of these dudes talk all of this shit about what they gonna do to each other, what they gonna do to each other, and when you gonna do it? You gonna do it when we at the BET Awards or the, the VMAs or some shit, and it's all these police here and it's all these things. Y'all never see each other, so the thing is, is the get together or even get on the phone and have a, a conversation without yelling and screaming and all that other stupid shit and get to it. This So it's always like you need the mediator, right? Because like you said, yeah, you like they're not you make, definitely need taking the initiative. Yeah, you okay. definitely need a mediator, but I mean, it's, it's good to see them not, like this is something we don't have to worry about anymore. Word. I mean, so 6 9 has his issues with a few different people, and some of them do seem to stem from, as he said, quote, misunderstandings. Um, do you think we're going to see more of this, him sort of reconciling his differences with people? Hey, well, I'm, I'm happy I, we saw this. Uh, if I'm listening to TMZ and I, I didn't talk, like, some of these stuff, I'm not calling, like, yo, what happened with Cash, son? <laughs> nah, bro, I'm going to read that online. I'm not, like, I try to deal with people on, a, like, whatever... If me and you friends and you beef with 30 other niggas, I'm not calling you to talk about it because I ain't beef with 30 other niggas. Yeah, you get me? Yeah, yeah. But um, like uh, it looked like he was trying to also uh, get things on the right page, maybe with like his LA situations, because I read on TMZ he was trying to with meet Snoop. up with Snoop. Yeah. So if that's that is the right mindset to have to get to the point where you're not like hiding, you're not like have to be ultra aggressive because now anybody is or everybody's trying to test your gangster or whatever. And also, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, I pointed out I pointed this out a long time ago. His audience is not a bunch of gangsters. Right. It's a bunch of kids. Right. right? So doing all this fucks up the money and and touring has been heavily affected by him. I can't name more than ten shows he's done in the last Three months. Yeah, if he was, in I was the hottest rapper or the one of the self-proclaimed hottest rappers, not doing shows every night. Right, because I mean, because it's a, it's a, um, a liability. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a liability, and I mean, if Takashi wants to be in this shit for a while and he wants to last and he wants to really do something, he has to like get all of that bullshit up off of him. I mean, it, it's, it's cool for the entertainment for a moment, but realistically, it's like a, a, um, a game, like. You talking all this tough shit, and then people want to see about that. And really, realistically, all you really trying to do is sell your music and sell your brand. And honestly, he's not the worst rapper I've ever heard. Like a lot of people are critical of him as an artist. He's not the worst dude I've ever heard. He has a direction of what he's going. He needs to just focus on that. And this is a start. Yeah, this is definitely a good first step. So he's putting good energy out, right? Hopefully that comes back to him. Maybe he can do more. Hope he keeps it up because we. Yeah. He's unpredictable. No more misunderstandings. And, uh, hopefully this good energy somehow manifest and by the way keep in mind he has a court date coming up still right mm -hmm. that GED thing that, that was postponed he still has to go in front of a judge for that he just recently got arrested so you know what I mean he's he's at a point where beefing with a bunch of people plus he beefing like a nigga from Chicago you know what I mean Tato yeah. right so he, he probably want to lay low I've, I've thought and I've told him I'm like listen I don't know if you know how this rap thing works and I know like he, I think he does like being the center of attention mm -hmm. Right, Absolutely. and you can imagine most. Well, has more hair, of course he likes. Yeah. To no, no, but but most kids, well, not really, because some of these kids they're really like antisocial. They just look weird, right? But most of these kids who are glued to their phone, they want to be the guy who's talked about because it makes you feel like you're the hottest, whether you're selling the most or not. Yeah. What he has to realize is that when you're a rapper, yeah, you have the moments when you're trying to promote something you like to be talked about a lot. And then when you're actually going out to deliver or you're just performing, yeah, you, don't, you don't even need to be the center of attention. Like, that's why people have a rollout. You roll out, then the music starts selling, you fall back, you tour, you get the bags, cool out, make another project, you come back, you get it hot, you do it again. Um, if, if you think you could just stay in that controversial spot forever, <laughs> it's probably not going to result in you getting a lot of money because, because people get scared. So, of you. so does he still... Does trolling is he is trolling still going to be a part of his his thing? Yes. Yeah. yeah even with all of that being said, one thing I've learned from him is that the way he has gotten success, and, and he said it to me too, and he mentioned it also on the Breakfast Club interview when he was talking to Charlamagne. He's like, listen, I know a lot of people don't like me talking shit like this, and they want to see me knocked out. He says, until that day comes where I get knocked out, where you guys gonna have everything to say, I'm gonna have everything to say now. 
Which is, I guess that's a kind of fair way to look at it. You're seeing some I don't know, uh, reality to it. I don't know about that. But, yeah. but, but I say all that to say the way he got on, right, by, by kind of making himself like, even though I was watching a video of his yesterday, I was like, he was showing off his billion streams plaque and he's like, yo, all the haters who did, I'm like, dude, you've made it already. Like, you can't, you, you're not still the Stop underdog. Stop focusing on that bullshit. Yeah, like, <laughs> you're... You know how some people try to play the underdog slash victim, yeah. even when they're on top? Be like, all right, we don't believe it anymore, right? So, I don't think he's going to let go of anything that made him famous. Hey, yeah. Maybe it'll be mild. If it's not broke, why, why fix it? Isn't it broke? Stop it, because I said that shit about J. Cole. Are you stealing I said all that shit about, you still no, no. stealing my shit. Yo, you got to stop stealing my shit, man, for real, yo. Man, that's what he's doing, though. No, oh, man, if it ain't, <laughs> now, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> J. Cole shit was a little broke. I, ain't, <laughs> I don't want to hear that, man. All right, so it looks like we might get a Wiz Khalifa and Gucci Mane joint project. So this week, they were filming the video for Really Rich and revealed that we might get a full mixtape. Let's check this out. All right, so next we're working on our motherfucking album, right? Yeah, we're doing a mixtape tonight. Yeah, yep, yeah, the whole we thing. Gonna, we we gonna like that. This. We about to knock that Wait shit out. Wait till you see the studio. This motherfucker gonna blow your mind. All right, cool. I'm coming yeah. through. All right. We about to knock out hella shit, too. Gucci makes me so happy. He just always is so happy. Uh, so, of course, happy, they're both ha so happy. They have... Uh... Why Wiz look like a side chick with a phone? You know when you're trying to get you to confess some shit? <laughs> It'll be like you're just trying to lead you into questions. Yeah, when were we together last night? Yeah, yeah, well, wasn't it lit? Yeah, nah, but... Uh... I know nothing about this. Right? So they have solo <laughs> projects coming, but would you want to hear a, a full mixtape from these two? Me, personally, no. Okay, that was easy. No, I, I don't. Honestly, and, like, no disrespect to Gucci Mane and his whole, like new thing he got with, you know, he changed his whole life, but I like Fat Gucci more than I like Skitty Gucci. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm serious, that's just me. Like, I like bird print Gucci. That's some black, that's that's black Twitter me? shit, man. Yeah, I'm dead on. serious, I, I like bird print Gucci. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I like with, I like a song, but I don't want to hear a whole tape. Like, the last tape I really liked that Gucci did a drink one was the first Free Bricks with him in Future. Mm. This guy won Gucci who's throwing chicks out of the car on a, on a freeway, right, but slapping look, people but, in the head with a champagne but, bottle. All right, no, I don't want him <laughs> doing none of that shit. What I'm saying is I want the music, that the type of music he was making at that level, but he's never going to be that guy again, and I don't want him to be that guy. But what's wrong with that? Because you always say shit like, yo, I want to hear you talk about shooting at the ops. I want to hear you talk that gangster shit. Yeah, you know? that's big facts. Right, no, okay, 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 right. one. okay, good point. But has Gucci? Gucci's not talking no Bible scriptures on this. He's, he's not, not talking, talking Bible scriptures. Just it, I don't know. It's, it, maybe it's, his voice changed since he lost weight. I don't know what it is, but it's not. Yo, Wayno is not that. with the Gucci clone at all. Okay. I'm not with the Gucci clone. Yeah. Nah, what, what it is is that like we we actually really forget how much when we believe lyrics or lyrics hit harder. It's because of an image too, right? Like when, when you feel like, yo, when, when T.I. was really, T.I., when T.I. wasn't talking proper, man, T.I. T.I. was always, wait a second, T.I. was always talking proper. He was all, always an English Mer -Krimmon? Mer -Krimmon? Always. He was always talking proper. Mer his, his fucking grandma has always been top notch A1 since the nah, start. Man, if yes, it has. When he had them, them grills in and he could barely like close it to Mer Nah, man. Listen, he knew, always knew how to articulate himself. Man, the first day that, day that nigga got to word. court after getting caught with 38 guns, that nigga, that nigga was. I had a full different vocabulary than no, what he even spent I, on trap music. I do get what you're saying, though, I, with the image that goes with it, because it's like now when T.I. says some gangster shit, you like, you look, you think of the, the family hustle, right? Yeah. But at the same time, if you love T.I. for fucking rapping as opposed to just the image, see, back in my Bingo. day, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> Back in my day, I didn't have the privilege of Instagram and shit. I couldn't wake up and see Jada Kiss with his son or see all of the things that my favorite artist was doing. So with me, I just really like the way these motherfuckers rap. Okay, bingo though. Because I just, I, I, I told you and you didn't even dispute it. What? Gucci's still rapping about the same thing. Even with T.I., T.I. was still rapping about pretty much the same thing as he evolved, and, and that's a key word. Like these guys, we like them at the stage and it sounds bad to say. It just say. sounds a certain no, no, way. It sounds here bad go, to here say. Here we go. What? When they were kind of ignorant. Yeah. When, when, no, I can't. I can't. When Gucci was a little that. ignorant. Ti was a little ignorant. Like their music kind of made us. And again, not to say we're glorifying it, but but just in an entertainment factor, like we kind of. It's like a character. Yeah. Right. And then as they're growing, 
and we might see stuff that's contradicting stuff we we hear. But, yeah, I get you. But you and, and, and also their music changes too. Like the they're, music they're not rapping. I, I don't want Gucci, let me go on record by saying, I don't want Gucci doing no bullshit that put him in trouble. <laughs> but I loved when he said, all Nas need is one mic, all I need is one stove. Like, for real, like, <laughs> real shit. I love it, and I know Gucci ain't selling dope and none of that shit no more, but I don't know, maybe it's the way he sounded, and that does probably play into the image he had at that time. I'm just talking about me being a Gucci fan, the Gucci I love. That's the Gucci I love more than the new Gucci. Gucci is not whack, but I me I don't want to hear no. I'm not mad at you. Get to be ignorant once in a while, Wayne. No yeah, hell yeah. Hey. Fuck, I want to hear bullshit. Hey, and also you know I always think about that when rappers are evolving or rappers' lifestyle change too. You know what I mean? Like Wayne, right? A lot of people love leaned up Wayne, but after realizing that we, we've seen everything with his health and all that, and we see that he's grown, he has kids that's that's of his of age making music and all that. Do we really want that, Wayne? No. So, so, it, so it is a trade-off. Like, while sonically and for the entertainment purpose, we like listen to it because it makes us feel whatever. We realize that, yo, you do love Gucci, right? So, because you love Gucci, you don't want Gucci to be doing that bullshit. At all. But, but, but sometimes you reminisce. That's it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You're not saying. And I mean, this is not a cool. Like, this is not cool. But a lot of times, a lot of our favorite entertainers that made a lot of the music that we love, they was on drugs. Word. Like, drugs has brought out like a lot of greatness in people. Ironically, like it's not, I wouldn't tell a kid to do drugs to be good. But That's, drugs in dark times. In dark Wayne times, yeah. Like art. like Wayne, like I feel like dying. A lot of songs that he made in that time, you, you'll you never have that, he'll never have that same like feeling or anything because hopefully he's cleaning himself up because that shit can kill you. It's an interesting parallel between how you just said how, well, when musicians usually make their best music or the music that resonates the most, and even comedians. They say a lot of times when comedians are really hitting, they usually got some shit going on. You get yeah. me? Um, Martin Lawrence, he said that shit before. He's like, I was smoking the ooh wee at that time. Like, <laughs> yeah. Cat Williams. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy motherfucker. All right, y'all, what we've all... Cat Williams. I don't know. I tried to watch his most recent stand up. That shit's not as funny. Yeah. The green suit one. Oh, where? Legendary. Yeah, you gotta, legendary. That's the best shit. I was trying to find it the other day, but it's like, you gotta like, I couldn't pull it up on Netflix for right. some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, shit. Um, that ain't been the same since he called that favorite the fifth. <laughs> man. <laughs> it ain't been the same, man. Um, oh, man. All right, what we've all possibly been waiting for Kanye and the Kardashians I mean. on Family Feud. That was sarcasm. Episode coming up on June 10th. Uh, we have a little preview. Let's take a look. Kisser. Lips. I'm here to win, bro. I'm here to win. <laughs> it's Kanye. Who is this next to you want to introduce? <laughs> Kim and the Kardashians kicking off an all-new season of Celebrity Family Feud. Let's see how it is. Not today, Kim. I got a feeling when this game over, it ain't going to be over. <laughs> is that K. Michelle? What's we K. Michelle. No, is that that? You didn't say it's that K. Michelle. Bro, th there's a black... First of all, Kanye don't even hang with black people, bro. There's a black girl on the panel, so and I'm wondering, I don't look like no <laughs> relative of Kanye. I got to ask this K. Michelle. <laughs> Kanye's no, family I, is the I Kardashian slash Jenner. I don't know. Is, Talks, is that, was that K. Michelle? Can we play it again? Bruh, I definitely look like it, though. That's not K. That Michelle, man. Michelle. Michelle. When would K. I know Michelle I be doing that for a Kanye second. West's of course he's not correct. Okay, but who, but who the heck is that? Because I don't know. Does Kanye West hang with black people these days, though? A few. If, 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 Virgil. Virgil. Push your teeth. Virgil, you tell me. Nah, it's Kid Cudi. Bruh. John Legend sometimes. Bruh. John Legend sometimes. Come on, man. I looked at the text messages with him texting them people. It looked like he deleted their number, and they had to text him that it popped up. Oh, man. You're crazy. I don't want to see this bullshit, though. I don't really I, care. I don't want to see it. I, I do want to see it. What I do want to know now that I see, like, a clip of it, is was this before or after the lipo? Because he has like he looks kind of heavy in that in that clip. Nah. Oh, I let's think, see. They I, just put up the angles again. I think this is after lipo. Is it after lipo? Wait, I is this is confirmed? I didn't know this was like a. What? Kanye lipo? admitted he was on lipo. Yeah, he said he it on TMZ. The reason why I'm yeah. saying it was after is because he said that um, after he got like drugged up. For the stage stuff, yeah. he gained weight, and because he had to go do public <laughs> shit, he didn't want to look fat for paparazzi and all that shit, and the people, 
he got lipo. So I, I, I could imagine you're going to Family Feud lipo You time. want lipo? I forgot he said Holla that. I don't know. He's wearing all Kim black. It's hard to really like tell in yeah. I mean, his clothes, th those Yeezy clothes, they like oversized, so you can't really tell what's going on in them shits. Like, I was just wondering if he would actually be good on Family Feud. Like Kanye doesn't seem like the person who'd be good at trivia. Because he knows so much. You well, think so? Well, I, I mean, if if the trivia is based on like old shit, Michael Jackson. Like if we, Hall, if, we if we're talking Walt about Disney. like what's going on Steve today, no. like yeah, like if, if we're talking about what's going on today, I don't see it being like him being on point with everything. But it's good to see him happy. Well, yeah, well, happy. Well, you know, well again, I'm gonna restate. There's nothing the Kardashians do to entertain me, but um, I. This might be interesting, right? To see, because if I think that Kanye is so detached from reality, mm. right? I don't even know what type of fucking Fiji water they got in Calabasas that <laughs> they're drinking because they, they look like they're on a whole different planet. Some of the questions from Family Feud usually kind of give a, a, a common person's It's perception. normal people's yeah, shit. So, so That's why like, I'm saying whatever Kanye question. know any of these So answers. I would like to hear some of the answers these motherfuckers got going on. <laughs> but you don't. I give us a little insight on watch what Family the Feud. fuck going on. Right, you huh? don't watch Family Feud. I do. You do? I do, yeah. I, I want to see him on Family Feud. Like, this shit is not going to be whack, man. This is, this is going to be funny. It's going to be mad quotables from this shit. That's true. It's going to be mad quotables. I hope I see this shit where, you know, with Kanye smiling and then they say something and he just drops his face. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, yes. it's, it's, it's going to be a movie. This whole shit is going to be a movie. Well, I would like to see Kanye. The rest of them Kardashians, man, miss me on that. Miss me on that. Where Rob been at, man? He ain't doing Family Feud. <laughs> Maybe that was Black China I saw. Who All knows, right, man? Right, she got a car. Yeah, she got a car. Now he's trolling. Good God. And she was engaged with that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Only black, that nigga. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Only black person to successfully finesse Kardashians. Who? Black China. Oh, <laughs> she a legend for that. She black history month. We got it. She infiltrated for real. <laughs> yeah, she did. Absolutely. All right, so y'all, Future and Zaytoven <coughs> are planning to drop Beast Mode 2 pretty soon. So obviously this is the follow-up to their 2015 <coughs> project in a recent profile with Sense. Zaytoven confirmed that it would drop not long after the Superfly reboot, which is actually out June 15th. Future is also executive producing the new soundtrack for Superfly. Um, how much are you guys anticipating music from Future right now? And is Beast Mode 2 what you would want to hear from him? Beast Mode 2 is not what I want, would <coughs> want to hear from him right now, but I'm not mad at it. I haven't got like we haven't got when was Future's last album? That was last year when he dropped um yeah, he dropped like last year, around like February. Yeah, yeah, top yeah. of the year. Top of the year. Yeah, so I mean he's sprinkled with like features here and there, but I do wanna hear something full length from him. Mm -hmm. Because with everything he's done, like he's birthed a lot of careers as well, as far as his style and his direction. So I wanna hear if he he gonna change some shit up. Because that's another thing, if it's if it's broke, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. But the thing a lot of people get on future for saying like the same shit they get on everybody for. They say, oh, Pusha T only talk about coke. Uh, Future only talk about doing drugs. Sometimes, like, he, I think Future's the best at talking about that shit or making records out of it, you know? I don't hate it. It's not always the best message, but we're not looking for, to the future for yeah. the best messages. Yeah, exactly. Essentially, you know what I mean? I do want to hear some new Future shit, though. I can't wait for this. Uh, Beast <clears throat> Mode, I think his fans kind of want that. He went a little different direction with his last like couple projects, right? Yeah. And I'm counting his albums as two albums, the Future and the Hendrix <laughs> joint. Uh, it was kind of a hybrid mix, and also Which I was one did definitely you like more. Um, not the singing one. Future was the yeah. Future was. Who was by the way? I do think he's a great singer, but you know what I mean. I his love best the, singing is on I love the, the, the Kendrick track. track. Is that, I don't know if it's really singing. You know what I mean? He has a little break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yodeling. That shit has me, oh, though. Shit has me. Trap yodeling, oh, yo. Yeah. <laughs> but him and, him and uh, Zay, like, I think, I think it would be a nice break from, like, I was getting so tired of him and Metro. And I love Metro. Mm -hmm. But, like, I felt like after it kicked off, right before DS2, and then What a Time to Be Alive, it was like, hey, wash, whatever, repeat, rinse. Like, same shit. Let's just keep going. And... And I was a little bit tired of it. So I'm definitely excited for this. What I am also excited for is him making more music with Thug. Like, they got some type of friendship. They got each other's names tattooed on each other. You feel me? Like, that's BFF goals. And they, they <laughs> That's you and 6ix9ine? Yeah. Pause. I would never. He'll get 6ix9ine behind his ear. Are you crazy? <laughs> we didn't talk about that. That's, yo, that's just. We, but no, he's going to get 6ix9ine on his inner leg, right? Oh, he yeah, wanna touch his Definitely that. on the inner that thigh. He'll get 6ix9ine and get wax on. That must be some New York nigga. No, that's some. Inner hey. thigh Seems tattoos. like you guys have a connection act. That's inner all. Thigh so where's inner thigh touches come from? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So where do them shits come from? Are y'all telling me that, oh, like, y'all don't have no friends? 
Nobody won't got no friends? I, mean, I'm not I have a, I have a friend I have a friend who cool. passed away who's tattooed on my arm, but I'm not tattooing like I ain't tattooing a motherfucker on mm -hmm. my arm. I feel you. I feel but, you. but no no and and no no it's the thing is it's hilarious. But the nigga can't swim, bro. The nigga's about to <laughs> Whatever. Swim. I'm not trying I'm not jacking And he's built like an upside down shit. rectangle. Yo. But no, back to the point rectangle. Of, triangle. Uh, I I do wanna hear I I can't agree with the whole him and Metro thing that you said. I mean, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, they gave us classics like Karate yeah. Chop. I, I want to hear the, the the change up in the shit. You know what I mean? Like I want to hear the change up in the production with Metro and um with Metro and Future. That's like saying we don't want to hear Jay Z on a Just Blaze track ever again. No, no, no. That's definitely not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that sometimes you need a break. Yeah, right? absolutely. Like, like, and it's been a while. It's been one a while. of the one of the things I hate is like when you ain't even hear the track yet, but you know what you' about to hear. Right. Like honestly, and this is a little left field, but anytime I hear DJ Khaled on a record <laughs> with Jay Z and Future, I know what that record's gonna sound. That's like. only they only have one. It's going. It's going it's, they only have two records. I mean, yeah, we well, just got one two three well, months ago. Well, we we know the little formula. Well, we're not gonna I, get a I hate from the, them too. Yo, once I once me as a listener could figure out the formula and it's like so easy. In terms of sonically, I don't know about it. Well, so it was something about the the what is that the Superfly soundtrack, right? Yeah. On there. Well, He's producing it. I don't know. You know, you know about the kid Kr. It's an artist. His name is Kr. He's playing in Superfly. You know okay. I mean? So salute to Kr. I mean, very very dope artist coming up. But um, I do want to hear some new future shit. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see what Future's doing now. Like I don't know, social media been a little weird. He kind of fell back. He deleted everything, didn't he? Future, after the DS2 wave, after the the What a Time to Be Alive, went on tour with Drake. Um, then he dropped his two solo albums mm -hmm. that people were very Legal highly battles. anticipated, right? Yeah. And yeah, I mean that goes on, right? I think that people would think that Future would be in a different position right now. As Instead, far as instead, he where, got some artists I heard about no, that. He like, where, where people were projecting future when he dropped DS2, like, yo, hottest in the game, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. he, he did the joint with Thug. A little different, right? Like, I, I don't know if I'm future at that point if I'm doing a joint with Thug. And now we're expecting that shit to kind of make him, like, we're trying to get that three mixtapes in a year, all classics again. But in that know, type of wave. You know what I mean? You know, we're, we're always looking, for me, I'm always looking at an artist to say, Yo, could you recreate that fire and lightning in the bottle twice? Yeah, nah, because you gotta, at the same time, you gotta be going through certain shit in life to even make those type of records. I mean, I'm not the same person I was last week to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always trying to move forward. Even with the, the Kendrick's album, he was trying to, I think he was just trying new shit to see how people would take it. But I want future back to future, but I don't want it in like three mixtapes. Because my whole thing with being a Future fan was like my Streets Calling was one of my favorite tapes from him, and that's very, very, very early on. Mm. But when I think about Future, he dropped so much shit that it's a lot to take. Like, right, we was talking about Ray Shrummer. I mean, they dropped three all in one, but Future would drop back to back to back to back, and sometimes you forget about the last one because you you really <laughs> on that the first one. You're not paying too much attention to the second one. And it's kind of hard to really dig in on the third. So if he gets back in, Beast Mode, if Beast Mode 2 is coming, then that means another project is coming. I think he's going to go back to that time when he was dropping two or three things. But yeah. as long as it's not just one thing, is my yeah. music. Well, I could imagine he's coming with a lot more. Of course, we just saw he's uh, executive producing Superfly, yeah. the soundtrack of it, and his project. I could imagine he's about to just pick up probably for the next year. And, I, and I'm hoping he just keeps his foot on throttle. Just because, and fans sometimes are hypocrites uh, with this. Sometimes we're like, yo, they're releasing too much. Like, we'll, we'll say it about the Migos. Yeah, the Migos releasing too much. If the Migos go a year without releasing some shit, yeah. they'll be like, off. yo, it <laughs> fell off. Yeah, he acting like I died. The whole thing in music is time and the spacing. Mm -hmm. You got to have your moments. Like, you can't, even, all right, even with the Migos, like, they, they had to come right back. I ain't going to front. Like, they had to come right back. Now, we both agreed that that album was really, really fucking long. I ain't going to lie. I probably only listened to this shit two times because... Coach, I, I really love culture, but culture too wasn't the same for me, but they had to double back. And now that they've doubled back, it's opened up a lot of other opportunities for them. Mm -hmm. In their time and their spacing, with, with the QC brand, right? Like everything that they do, they're the top guys there, that goes to like a little baby. Little baby is hot because 
the groundwork that um, the Migos is doing for the brand. I mean, right. he's building his own name, but sometimes you gotta put shit out. But everybody can't do that. Like J. Cole's not coming right back. You know, we know that. Like Kendrick hasn't came right back. Yeah. We certain people we need that time and space from him. Um, with Future giving us his time and space, I just hope that he comes with like some shit that we can all appreciate again, and it's not just just one long song. Cause sometimes yeah, it sounds like that. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah man, I, I'm excited to have some new music from Future, man. Don't Nicki us, man. Just go on some. Break. Come on, man. Stop that's that's what, what I'm calling. What does that mean? Nikki, yeah, like, Nicki just so? ghosted. Like she's like, peace uh, out. But yo, there's some people who have earned the right to ghost. Right. You can. You don't Nikki need to legend. be around all the time. You should need to keep the clubs rocking. But Future's another Sorry. one. He's not like Nicki level if you're talking about legendary, I guess. But like he's earned the right to ghost for a bit. We're never yeah, gonna forget about right, him. But as a fan, we need like man, if you don't got uh, if there's not a hot current Future song in the club, man. Oh. King's dead is hot. Future's on that. I want you some. Still hating yeah, because you don't listen to TDE. No, 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 no. I like that song. No, I, 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 don't. I, want, I want some no, fuck don't. up them commas, bro. Like I want some. You know, he's know. not fucking up commas no more. Maybe he's saving his commas. Cut it. Got it. Future. Yeah, future. money phone future. Yeah, money phone. I'm future. mad at Jay because he called me out. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't he's mean he's spending up. the shit. Don't yeah, he, believe everything you see. He's not spending it on on Sierra. Clearly, you get me. All right, you All right, so exactly. petty. You yeah, so you petty. Go. Let's go. Next right. topic. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for this man to drop an album. Will Smith, the only person who doesn't have an album coming this year, it seems. But uh, we got great the bars today with him. New track. Him in the studio. Take a look. Yes. 20 years of swag y'all just witnessed Let me remind everybody who Will Smith is Rappers make it rain Let their money hit you if I throw my money up Shit, I'd probably kill a stripper The illest, realest, big Willis Down with the man in charge with Uncle Phyllis Everybody wanna do Will Smith numbers I don't know if your life got that many summers I got inspired, quickly I unretired The fresh prints just rewired and slightly to modern fire But still, people dancing and shaking and moving and wilding It feel like I'm an alien, really? But who's really doing Will Smith thumbers out here, though? Who <laughs> no, is it? Uh, nobody. <laughs> nobody. I, I, I'm rocking with this. Bro. No, yo, you know what's so funny about this? This is uncle at the barbecue. <laughs> the, the nephews is talking that shit. They talking that that little pump shit. And he's on the grill and he says, yo, throw the fucking beat on, man. Let me teach y'all something. <laughs> That's what this is. But... This was cool for Will Smith. Like, I'm not, I'm not. Here comes the hate. Ain't no hate. <laughs> One thing I will say, though, is Will Smith can't fuck with Jaden Smith. Mm. I, yo, you know I like this. Can't. Because even, it gave me an. Have you listened to Jaden Smith's album? Of course. All right. Now, I just wanted to know. Listen, first of all, you, you, you impressed by all the, anytime a nigga hits you with the lyrical miracle fast flow shit, man. Fuck that. Listen, Ooh. I'm fucking with Will Smith, man. It's nostalgic it's listening to him. <laughs> Like, I, I, it's nostalgic hearing him kind of rap that way, but I don't even think it's like, I wouldn't go all the way to say the uncle and the barbecue, that's probably it's the uncle and the barbecue bones. rap, man. Nah, man, low key. You could have went up on, you could, no, I'm dead serious. You could have went up on. not dead serious, B. He could have went up on Flex and, and rap. See, see, tell see, a story, bro. Fucking far. I'm not you saying, I'm not far. saying it's the best freestyle ever, and I know you want to hear multi. No, I don't. I don't even want to hear this shit from Will Smith. I don't want to hear nothing from Will Smith. But this was super dope. Stop it. If Will Smith dropped a mixtape, you wouldn't listen to that shit? Yeah, Hell no. Wait, 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 wait. So, so you listen to him? Of course I would listen to Will Smith's mixtape. I don't know if he's good. Who's the summertime came out? Fuck out of here. I could tell. This guy must have, your favorite, favorite person. On Fresh Prince Miller must have been Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Or Jazzy Jeff. Me? What's wrong? That show was fire, fire, man. I love Will Smith. Again, again, I'm I not here Will saying Smith. I want a project, but this, I thought it was well put together. It's I funny. thought like the lines were clever. It's, yeah, uncle, at the it's uncle at the barbecue. I'll give Let you uncle at the barbecue. Let me show y'all something. Shit. I still got it. <laughs> He's a I mean, he started as a rapper, right? So I don't expect him to not be able to rap. It's like I'm pretty sure Del Curry can still shoot. Steph Curry's father. I'm pretty sure he can still shoot, right? But do I want to fucking watch him shoot? No. Listen, no. All right, fuck, fair I'm enough. Fuck with Jaden, but OG got it. Look, look, he OG got it. OG got it. Nah. If Jaden's slick, you know how it, when uh, Will did the parody of his, um, he do a parody of his shit. Just do this. Him on this. That would be funny. That'd be good. That'd be, That'd be funny. All right, y'all, Struggle Exchange is back finally, so we have some tweets from fans. Chops, can you pull them up? Can I see the first one, please? What do we have? So the Culture Review wants to know, how big can Lil Baby get? He's projected to sell 80K, and he just started rapping last year. Uh, I think Lil Baby is going through a moment where people are, are finding the new thing, finding the new rapper that 
is about to be one of the hottest and one of the guys at the top. I will say, and hopefully we do get a chance to talk about it longer or talk about him longer on the show, because I am very upset at the growing, I feel like there's a growing like argument to say Lil Baby is getting good sales or Drake put him on. I really dislike that. That is not, that couldn't be further from the truth. QC got a sweatshop for great rappers. A and sweatshop. A uh, sweatshop, but, but, but still, they're, they're pumping them out. And this guy had a buzz way before. Gunna and Lil Baby, they're like the new rich homie Kwan and Young Thug. Y'all better keep. Mm. Act with a good comparison, okay. finally. Academic. <laughs> listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Oh, my comparisons are, are only bad when I say Jay-Z. I say there's <laughs> Jay-Z in, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so, so, but, but, yo, you, you guys, I hate when people, and that's why uh, Trippie Red said something, I don't want to make it too long. Trippie Red said something, say, if I was on God's plan, a lot of people would say Drake put me on. But I've been grinding, right? And I think people do sometimes knock someone's grind or, like, knock the effort you put in when they see you kind of gain that presence. Mm -hmm. After being on song. That's if they see you pop up for the first time on the Drake right. song. So right. Drake, like Drake's, uh, his record with Drake, it isn't Look Alive. Like it isn't like a whole Drake record that was popping. Lil Baby has been popping. I don't subscribe to the whole, he only been rapping for one year thing. What I believe about that is that he's been taking rap serious for a year. Mm. Because he said that back in the days they was telling him he should rap. He seems like the dude that he probably was like every now and then saying some shit. And they like, yo, what you doing? And he kept going through legal troubles, and now it's like time to make a decision. So he hasn't been rapping for one year. He's been taking it serious for one year. He did build his buzz up. I do believe he did build his buzz up by himself. I was having this debate with a few other people about the whole Drake record playing into his sales. It helped a little, but it didn't. It's not determining who he is. Right. It probably get like twenty five k in sales, but I, I think he would have done fifty without that. But at like, the same he was, time, he's fire. No, he's fire. But at the same time. I'm not knocking Drake wanting to put you, getting on the record with you. Like, don't, I feel what Trippy said, Trippy Red is saying, but at the same time, brother, you would have loved that been in that video giving out some money too. That would have been a hell of a fucking look. I would have kept it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you throwing shots? No, no. I would have kept it. That was a shot. It. Oh, you, you say he, I would have. I thought you said he probably would have kept it. He would have probably kept it too. Yo, Drake's the only. Who was giving out a million dollars like with just smiles? Trippy Hell Red no! Trippy Red getting money. Yeah, I remember, and, and I ain't throwing them on the bus. Well, I, I guess I kind of am. I remember when the Migos, like in 2013, they gave out a thousand dollar scholarship to a, oh, to, yeah. to a school. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That's it was a, a lot of money. That wasn't bad that they gave out the thousand dollars. Was the bad part was the big ass check. That was the <laughs> the lottery <laughs> check. Yeah, that was the only bad thing. It was yo any contribute no no charitable contribution is That's too bad. big nor too small. So anything you give means something. <laughs> But it was just the check, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because when you see that check, you used to see it a big number. Then you zoom but in. But <laughs> look at what look at what Quavo did. He went and worked with LeBron, did some custom sneakers, mm -hmm. gave him shit to his high school. We've been doing a lot of a, a lot of uh, community work. Yeah, they had the charity game. Like that's what makes the that's, that's what makes artists dope though. When you see that they give a fuck about where they come from. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Don't ever forget. Yeah. All right, can we see the next tweet, please? What do we have here? Uh, DJ something um, swag flu. Do you think Wayne will ever drop the Carter Five? And when? I'll let you take this one. I, I think right. I think next year, top of next year is coming. I think that was very specific. Yeah, I think top of next year is coming. I think in he the works next, for Republic. Mm. They, they try to sound a little lack, no lie. <laughs> um, in the next six to nine months, I think we'll probably. And I'm just guessing here I, because there's no fucking way they could stall this court thing. That's what I'm saying. That was a very yeah. specific and, guess. And, and also, it feels like. We're seeing Wayne and Baby together more, and Wayne hasn't gone back on that by dissing him on stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's what th we saw that before. Right. In Live, then fuck you later. So we saw my Rolling Loud, we saw them hanging out at, at a show and Live again. So I I'm hoping that in the next couple of months we see something happen and it'll lead up to next year. Wayne because time is of the essence with this Wayne Carter 5 thing. Right, right, right. Um, because the, the, the only problem with the whole Carter 5 thing is. We have so many Lil Wayne babies now. Like we have so many, so many children of Lil Wayne. Like it wouldn't be called to call yourself little if not for Lil Wayne. You know, now, uh, the, real quick, the only problem I have with <coughs> um, this whole Carter Five thing is, I just hope it's not like old, older music. I hope it's like an up to date version of Wayne, only so that he doesn't get. Because the thing is, is we, we sit on a lot of music. A lot of artists sit on a lot of music like, nah, this shit is timeless, da-da. Mm -hmm. But then you got these kids, and their ears are changing every day. I hope this shit doesn't take long, but I think 
I wouldn't say top of the year. I say like maybe summer of next year. Next if, year. If, if it can happen, if it can actually happen, I say summer of next year. It's either gonna happen summer of next year or fourth quarter of this year. Hey, speaking of which, um, <clears throat> if we're talking about like Lil Wayne babies and how sounds uh, evolve, right. like you have the Wayne, and from that you could get like a Young Thug, right? And then Trippy from, Red, and then even the Chief Key, but but let's stay with Thug. Um, derived from Thug is Lil Baby. Like I think Lil Baby and Gunner. They sound like Thug, you get me? Right. Which Thug sounded like Wayne. Sound like Wayne, right? Mm-hmm. It's just it's just a different Even Uzi, cadence. Though. Yeah, he got the same piercing too, like as Wayne. Like, but he has, he's one of the most influential people, <clears throat> influential people, and he's been in this shit twenty. Like we watched his whole entire life. It's just crazy, and, and he's still so life. young. And he's still really young. Yeah, he's not yeah. even forty. He's right. not even forty yet. Uh, do we have one more tweet? I believe, I believe. Um, Marcus, <laughs> is Zach planning on putting out more mature content? Mature is the way you say it. Content on his YouTube channel, considering the fact that most of his audience is growing up. Hmm. Why did I think at first they were talking about some type of different mature content? Like, I'm like, mature. no porn, I, no porn no, on yeah. no, uh, Honestly, yeah, no. You get me? Like, there, there is always, there's always new, uh, there's always a new wave, and you you have to grow with everything. You get me? So when the little yachties or the the smoke perps and six nines, when they get to a different stage of their career, mm-hmm. yeah, we talk about different stuff with them. And also, um, it goes through phases. Like sometimes I've, I've addressed like stuff that is social issues. Remember when social issues basically was rap, mm-hmm. right? Uh, yeah, so it depends. But yes. Yes, it, for sure. So wait, how much are you maturing, Ak? I've, yeah. seen you, I've seen you grow up a lot in the past year, but I don't know what's happening inside sometimes. What? <laughs> hey, see that? It's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't shit changing. That was our last tweet, right? No, nah, you can't count. That's three. We have one more, don't we? I can't count or you. Chop says that's it. Right. it. Chops cut it. That's what happened. Chops, <laughs> Chops three, cut man. it. That's right. Four tweets, bro. Cut master Chops. All right, y'all. So it's Memorial Day weekend. Hope you guys enjoy the long weekend. What y'all doing? We... I don't know. I'm going to... I got some work to do, but I'm going to try to catch up on some damn rest. That's I might need your little, your little home renovating tips here. I know you be renovating stuff. I, I, I got just the jewel set. Yo. Yeah, oh, I need, need help for real. I, I need some. I need to do some shit in my house. So I want to put some flash shit in my house. Yo, guys, I got you. Yeah, I want. I want to get some paintings and shit. Oh, you're on some next. Okay, you're on your art. I'm just art level put, shit. Put my plaques on the wall. And put your eat. plaques on the wall. Oh shit. You want to go to Home Depot this weekend? I can't imagine acting at Home Depot. I'm either, but I'm, like, always, I'm always, I'm always at with Home Depot. Of this, no, no, no. I, nah. I'm nice in Home Depot. Like, yo, what's going on? Could somebody please, like, I guarantee 100% Depot. I'm, I'm, I'm a more handy man than Wayno, 100%. No, listen, you want to know why? Because I pay people to do shit. I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. Outsourcing the labor. I'm not, I, I'm, I, you're absolutely right, because I don't put nothing together. When it came to my TVs being on my walls and shit, nah, I'd rather pay somebody to do that shit. Yeah, especially wow. like when I was doing music and even now to like my studios and shit. Like yeah. what I've learned, even, like, I do that too now to save time, but right. I don't do nothing, I don't let nobody do anything for me that I don't try to learn to do myself. You know yeah. why? Okay. Because you become a slave to that person. I guess. And, I mean, and, and you, you don't understand it sometimes. You know what I mean? Of course, we're not talking about everything. We're not yeah, talking, we're talking about, about, yeah, I got to fix my car. <laughs> I got to fix my car before. the. No. But act through a little leg shot at me, right, by saying that he's way more handy than me. Mm. So what I would say is that I'm way more athletic than you. And I would like you to come probably, to my, probably, I would like you to come to my Muay Thai class. This would be, a, oh, yeah. be amazing. For real? Yeah, pull up, at. Wait, wait, where is it at? It's downtown. That's not where. He sent me the link. Canal That's Street? Link, yeah. Well, I might, I might up, go check it mean? out. Okay. Anderson Martial Arts. All right, man. You can do that or you can play ball finally. On a real court. Wayno don't want it. Yeah. All uh, right, here he goes. Yo, I'll come, I'll come I'll come to the Muay Thai class and, and get a couple kicks in. All right? Did all you right. try to back by the time, like by the time he by the time he does three kicks, he's not gonna be able to breathe. Oh, Stop course. it. I'm telling you. Yo, give me a week in that class. I'm coming out looking like a ghetto Power Ranger. All right, Trust Chuck says we gotta end the show. Yeah. I think we're out of here. Yo, enjoy the long weekend. We're off Monday, but we're back here Tuesday morning, 11 a.m. on Complex News YouTube. Daytona. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice plug. Nice plug.